Role of Student and Supervisor in a Scientific Research. By the end of study, you will learn, understand the respective roles of the student and supervisor in the research process, formulate a research question that is novel, feasible, and scientifically relevant, conduct a thorough literature review to identify gaps in existing research, design an experiment with attention to detail, safety, and research goals, execute experiments effectively, following the proper methodologies and safety protocols, analyze experimental data accurately and compare it with existing findings, respond to critical feedback and troubleshoot experimental challenges, ensure research integrity by adhering to ethical and scientific standards, prepare a scientific report or publication that clearly communicates research findings. Contents outlines include introduction, where we will discuss an overview of the student-supervisor relationship in research and importance of collaboration and communication in research projects, formulating research questions by student. This will highlight identifying research gaps in existing literature and developing a novel and feasible research question, conducting literature review by student. This will include gathering and analyzing existing research data and identifying knowledge gaps and contradictions in research. This section will include selecting appropriate materials, chemicals, and experimental methods, ensuring safety protocols and feasibility, providing guidance by supervisor. Supervisor will critically help in advising on research question, experimental design, and methodology and providing insights and feedback to improve research quality and ensuring adherence to safety protocols and research integrity performing experiments by student. This will comprise of executing the experimental plan and ensuring accuracy in procedures and maintaining detailed lab notes and monitoring experimental conditions. Analyzing data by student. This will mainly include processing and interpreting, Experimental data by using statistical tools and comparison with literature. Offering critical feedback from supervisor in reviewing results and suggesting refinements. Besides ensuring scientific rigor and methodological soundness students facing troubleshooting experimental issues. This will deal with addressing challenges during experiments, role of supervisor in maintaining research integrity. This will help in ensuring ethical conduct, data transparency, and safety and providing mentorship on proper lab practices and waste disposal writing and publishing research by student. This will include drafting research reports, theses, or articles and presenting findings with clarity and scientific rigor. Concluding our study by summarizing the critical roles of both student and supervisor, Students' Responsibility in Developing a Researchable Question The student's first responsibility in any scientific research project is to develop a clear researchable question. This involves identifying a problem or knowledge gap in the literature and designing a research question that addresses it. In the case of caffeine extraction, the student could explore questions such as what is the most efficient solvent for extracting caffeine from tea leaves? And how do different variables like temperature and pH affect the extraction process? To create a strong research question, the student must carefully assess existing research to avoid redundancy and ensure that their inquiry is novel and significant. Once the student has formulated a question, they must evaluate its feasibility, considering factors such as time, available resources, and experimental complexity. Students also seek input from supervisors during this stage, discussing the scientific relevance of the question and possible approaches. A well-constructed research question guides the entire project and establishes the focus for experimental design and data analysis. Example, a student may hypothesize that altering the pH of the tea solution will enhance caffeine solubility in dichloromethane, leading to higher extraction efficiency. 
Conducting a literature review is essential for students to understand existing research and identify knowledge gaps. A comprehensive literature review is a critical step for students to understand the current state of research and define the context of their project. The student must search through scientific journals, articles, and textbooks to gather information on previously studied methods, solvents, and conditions used in caffeine extraction. For example, in the caffeine extraction study, the student may find that dichloromethane is a commonly used solvent but has limitations such as toxicity and environmental concerns. They may also learn about other solvents like chloroform or ethyl acetate or alternative methods like supercritical CO2 extraction. Reviewing literature helps the student identify what has been done any contradictions in the findings, and where there are gaps in the research. This process not only informs the methodology, but also helps in justifying the need for the research. The student organizes their review to highlight key findings, conflicting results, and areas needing further investigation. The literature review ultimately serves as the foundation upon which the research is built, allowing the student to refine their experimental approach and ensure they contribute something new to the field. For example, the student might discover that previous studies have focused primarily on neutral pH extraction, but have not explored the effect of acidity. Designing experiments is essential for students to test hypotheses and gather empirical evidence. Once the research question is established and the literature review is complete, the student moves on to designing the experiment. This stage requires the student to select appropriate materials, chemicals, and equipment. They must also determine the conditions under which the experiments will be conducted, such as temperature, solvent volume, and extraction time. In the caffeine extraction example, the student may choose to test the efficiency of several solvents like dichloromethane, chloroform, and ethyl acetate in extracting caffeine from tea leaves. Additionally, they must decide on the method of extraction, whether to use a separatory funnel for liquid-liquid extraction or another apparatus for better solvent separation. The experimental design must also account for safety protocols, especially when working with volatile and toxic organic solvents. The student will need to consider how they will measure caffeine concentrations, perhaps using UV visible spectroscopy, and how they will compare results across different conditions. Once designed, the student discusses the plan with their supervisor for feedback and refinement ensuring the experiment is well-structured, reproducible, and scientifically sound. For example, the student designs the experiment to compare caffeine yield at different temperatures, ensuring each solvent's efficacy is tested under controlled conditions. Supervisors guide students through research challenges and help ensure academic quality. Supervisors play an essential role in guiding students throughout the research process. Their extensive experience in the field enables them to provide critical insights that can significantly improve the quality of the research. For instance, in the caffeine extraction project, the supervisor might suggest using specific solvents that have proven effective in similar studies or recommend using an acid-base adjustment to optimize caffeine solubility in the organic solvent. Supervisors also help students refine their research question, suggesting adjustments to ensure it is both novel and feasible. They may guide students in selecting the right experimental techniques and tools to use, as well as in troubleshooting potential issues with equipment or methodologies. Supervisors are also responsible for ensuring that the student follows proper laboratory safety protocols, especially when dealing with hazardous substances like dichloromethane. Additionally, they provide feedback on experimental design, data analysis, and overall project direction. Through regular meetings and discussions, supervisors help students stay on track, solve unexpected problems, and improve their scientific reasoning and methodology, for example, 
The supervisor advises using a drying agent like anhydrous sodium sulfate to ensure no water contaminates the organic layer during the extraction process. Student performing research experiments to gain practical knowledge, develop critical thinking, and enhance academic understanding. After finalizing the experimental design, the student is responsible for executing the experiment. This requires careful attention to detail to ensure all procedures are followed correctly and data is recorded accurately. In the case of caffeine extraction, the student would first steep the tea leaves in boiling water to extract caffeine into the aqueous phase. They would then add an organic solvent, such as dichloromethane, to the separatory funnel and shake the solution to transfer caffeine into the organic phase. The student must be vigilant about safety especially when handling volatile solvents like dichloromethane and must ensure they follow proper waste disposal procedures. They also need to monitor factors like temperature and solvent volume and make precise measurements to avoid errors. Throughout the process, students maintain a detailed lab notebook to record procedures, observations, and results. This is crucial for reproducibility and future reference. Any issues that arise during the experiment should be noted and addressed promptly. Students should also be open to adapting their approach if results are inconsistent or unexpected. For example, the student extracts caffeine by shaking the solution in the separatory funnel multiple times to ensure maximum transfer into the organic solvent. Student analyze data to draw meaningful conclusions and enhance their understanding of complex concepts. Once the experiments are completed, the student must analyze the data to draw conclusions from their work. In caffeine extraction, the student could use a UV visible spectrophotometer to quantify the caffeine concentration in the organic phase by measuring its absorbance at a specific wavelength. The student would then compare caffeine yields under different conditions, for instance solvent type, temperature, and pH, to determine which combination produced the highest yield. Data analysis also involves calculating means, standard deviations, and possibly performing statistical tests to evaluate the significance of the findings. If any data is inconsistent or unexpected, the student must revisit their experimental design to check for errors or repeat trials to verify results. Data analysis not only involves crunching numbers, but also interpreting the broader implications of the findings. For example, the student might consider why one solvent performed better than others, or how their results compare to those in the literature. They would then discuss their findings with the supervisor to ensure proper interpretation. For example, the student uses the absorbance data to determine the caffeine concentration in each solvent and compares it to published data. Supervisor offer critical insights to students to improve their work and understanding. Supervisors play a crucial role in reviewing and providing feedback on the student's progress. After the student completes their experiments and begins analyzing the data, the supervisor reviews the results and offers constructive criticism. For the caffeine extraction project, if the student's results show inconsistencies, such as lower than expected caffeine yields, the supervisor might suggest repeating the extraction under modified conditions or using a different solvent the supervisor's feedback helps ensure the research remains scientifically valid and that errors are minimized. Moreover, supervisors guide students on how to interpret complex data and ensure that conclusions are logically derived from the results. They also help in identifying any overlooked factors that could have influenced the outcome. The supervisor's expertise allows them to see potential problems early on and offer timely solutions. This feedback process is vital to refining the research and ensuring that the student's work meets the highest scientific standards. Example, the supervisor suggests trying different solvent volumes or adjusting the pH to improve caffeine extraction efficiency in cases of low yields. 
students must address and resolve troubleshooting issues encountered during their experimental research activities. During the course of scientific research, unexpected problems often arise, and it is the student's responsibility to troubleshoot these issues. In caffeine extraction, common issues might include poor separation between the aqueous and organic layers or incomplete extraction of caffeine. The student must identify the root cause of these problems and explore potential solutions. For example, if the separation is inadequate, the student might try adjusting the solvent to water ratio or changing the shaking duration in the separatory funnel. Similarly, if low yields are obtained, the student could experiment with different solvents or extraction conditions, such as increasing temperature or modifying pH. Troubleshooting requires critical thinking and adaptability, as well as close communication with the supervisor to ensure the proposed solutions are scientifically sound. By developing problem-solving skills, the student learns how to handle the inevitable challenges that arise in research, improving their ability to work independently in the future. Example, when faced with incomplete caffeine transfer, the student adjusts the ratio of dichloromethane to aqueous solution and repeats the extraction process. Supervisor ensures the maintenance of research integrity throughout the academic process and activities. Supervisors are responsible for ensuring that the research is conducted with the highest ethical and scientific standards. In the caffeine extraction project, this includes ensuring that the student follows all safety protocols when handling hazardous solvents like dichloromethane and that all waste is disposed of properly to minimize environmental impact. Supervisors also ensure that the student records all data accurately and transparently in their lab notebook so the research is reproducible and free from bias. Research integrity also involves ethical considerations, such as properly crediting sources in the literature review and avoiding plagiarism. Supervisors guide students in conducting honest and responsible research by maintaining rigor in methodology, properly analyzing data, and ensuring that no shortcuts are taken. They also ensure that the student adheres to institutional guidelines and legal requirements, such as acquiring necessary permissions for hazardous material use. This guidance is essential for fostering good scientific practice and instilling professional ethics in the student. Example, the supervisor ensures that the student follows proper disposal methods for solvents and uses personal protective equipment when handling hazardous materials. Students are required to write and publish their research findings to contribute to academic knowledge. After completing the experiments and analyzing the data, the student must communicate their findings through writing. This often takes the form of a research report, thesis, or scientific paper for publication. For the caffeine extraction project, the student would describe the background of caffeine extraction, detail the methodology used, present the results, e.g., caffeine yield under different conditions, and discuss the implications of their findings. The student must organize their report logically, providing clear explanations of the methods and justifying their choices. They should also present their data using graphs, tables, and statistical analysis where appropriate. In the discussion section, the student interprets the results and compares them with previous studies, highlighting any novel findings. Writing the research report is a crucial skill as it is the primary way scientific knowledge is communicated. The student may also submit their findings to a scientific journal or present them at a conference both of which require strong writing and presentation skills. Throughout this process, the supervisor provides feedback to ensure clarity, accuracy, and scientific rigor. Here are the concluding remarks. A strong student-supervisor relationship is key to successful research. Collaboration and effective communication enhance the quality of scientific investigations. Proper guidance ensures the student's work adheres to safety and research standards. Troubleshooting and adaptability are essential skills in resolving experimental challenges.
writing and publishing research findings is vital for advancing scientific knowledge. Thank you for dedicating your time and focus to deeply engage with the topic at hand.